Hi, Kennedy SPED teachers. I'm going to go over how to use the ScanSnap S1300i uh, scanner by Fujitsu. Um, you should have in the box when you have the scanner, you have this scanner and then you'll have two cables. Um, both have a, a USB cable on uh, one end and then these are the other two uh, ports right here. If you could just zoom in on that so we can see what they look like. All right, and then um, it's you won't be able to mix it up. There's only one port that they go into. But on the back of this here, you're going to plug in. Uh, this one is going to go into the power. And then uh, this one, it's a, a mini USB cable, is going to go in here. And then you have two, two ports, two USB ports on your computer, one on each side. So you're going to plug those in on either side. And then when you put in your document, um, this, uh, uh, the paper feeder might be, or the paper holder might be like this. Um, you just unfold it so it'll support the document. And then you put the, um, the, the side that you want to scan, you put it so you can see it, and you put it upside down in the scanner, and then you hit this flashing blue button here. When you hit the flashing blue button, then um, you'll see a pop-up window on your computer. Um, and that, that takes care of the physical installation of this. Keep watching to see the software installation and then how to use it. To get the ScanSnap S1300i software, open up any browser, go to google.com. And in Google, you're going to write scan snap S1300i driver. Click on this first link here. And we're going to install these first two here. We're going to install um, the installer. So I'm going to click on that. Unfortunately, it takes me away from that page. So I'm going to have to, after I download it, I'm going to click the back button. Um, I actually downloaded the wrong thing. Just bear with me a second. Um, I was in the Windows downloads. So uh, don't make that mistake. It was an example of what not to do. Uh, go down to the Mac downloads and uh, go to um, Scan Snap Installer for Mac. Um, this time, I'm going to right click on it and say, um, open link and new tab, just so that I don't lose this here, um, so I don't browse away from this page. And I'm going to do the same thing to the second one, too. All right, and so for the um, scan snap installer, I'm going to click on this here. Uh, it's going to download. I'm going to go to my downloads, click it. And this one, uh, what it does is, initially it's a very small download to get this file, but when I double click this, um, it's going to go and uh, download um, a whole bunch of other stuff. And uh, you will get prompted with a um, for admin credentials. You're all admins on your machine, or at least you should be. So if you just type in the password that you use to log in to your computer, uh, that should be fine. I'm also going to go to the uh, Snap Scan Manager, or Scan Snap rather. Click this, and this is another big download. So right now um, it's downloading. I'm going to wait till that's downloaded. And this one's taking a little while. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And then uh, when these are finished downloading, then I'll resume. OK, so the download's finished. And it looks like it launches the installation right away. So I'm just going to um, let this go and install. Um, this window should pop up here. Um, I'm going to say um, 
connect um, scan snap to computer um, turn it on um, just click on this first one here unless it's notice it's not the same color it's um, orange and this one is blue but just just tell it that it's this color here unless it's unless it's grayed out then you have a problem all right so it says that it's finished it's going to prompt me for admin credentials again So I continue. All right, and I think that the program's actually finished now. So it's actually all installed. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out of this if it pops up. Say no to all those things. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click the blue button on the scanner itself. And it's going to scan the, um, uh, the page that I put into it. This window here pops, pops up automatically when you hit that button. Okay, so um, I'm going to say scan to folder. It would be nice if we could scan directly to Google Drive. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure why, but the, we've had a real hard time getting that to work. So I'm going to say scan to folder, and we'll give it a name. We'll call it test scan snap. And you have to look at where it's going. The easiest place to put it is on your, your desktop. So I can say browse. Uh, and just click on desktop and say choose. That way I'll know exactly where it's where it's going. And I'm going to say save. So now I have a PDF version of the document. So now to get it onto my Google Drive, I'm going to go to Google Chrome. And I'm all logged into Google Chrome. Um, if you're not logged into Google Chrome, go ahead and log in. I'm just going to shrink this window down so we can see the whole thing. And I'll click on my drive so I'm at the root of the drive, just to make it easy. And I'm going to say New, File Upload. And then on my desktop, I'm going to click Test, Scan Snap, and say Open. All right. I'm going to scroll down to that document. And I'm going to right click on it and say open with. And then I'm going to say Google Docs. Or actually, I'm sorry, read and write for Google. And I believe read and write for Google is going to uh, convert it to a readable format where we can select text. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, to complete, but uh, once it opens, I should be able to select the text and have it read to me. All right, so now I can just bear with me a second. I'm going to pause this video Why? so I don't fumble through, through it too much while I'm talking to you. Okay, so finally figured it out. Um, if you could ignore um, where I started really fumbling with it, um, that would be good. All right, so anyway, after you upload it, you right-click and say Open With, and you actually want to open it with Google Docs. And what's going to happen is Google Docs is going to create a new document with the same name. So it'll be t called um, uh, Test Scan Snap 
that PDF, but notice it has a different icon. This is the Google Docs version of this PDF that I uploaded. And what it does, it's a little peculiar, it puts a picture of the PDF right here, and then underneath, that's where it puts all the text. So you could either, you could even delete this if you want, and then you'll just have the text, and then you can click here, you click play, and I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's, um, it's going to go ahead and read it. Let me just um, put the sound back on Sentences there. about your prediction, and be sure to explain why you think this will happen. Use evidence from the text to support your answer. All right, so that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.